There are, few, there are seven points that I have to give you. Seven things that is expected to be seen in your life now that you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Number one is conviction. A conviction that runs deep, so deep, so deep that you can defy any power. A conviction that runs so deep that you are willing to accept hot in order to stay aligned with God. Whenever you see a man of conviction, it means that man knows the Holy Spirit. If you, if you can't break him, he's rooted. He's grounded. He sees his life and his conviction as one. You cannot separate him from his conviction. If you want him to stop the way of his conviction, then you need to take his life. When you see that rugged conviction, nothing can shake it, nothing can bend it. Even when you tie him to the stake, his confession does not change. That is a proof that his life is stronger than the flesh and bone that you see. The convictions run deep. They run deep because it does business in deep waters. We have a generation that lacks conviction. And that's why we need to question the Holy Ghost that we received. We need to question it. We need to question it. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Because our ancestors modeled a life that was heavy on conviction as a sign that it was not by power. It was not by might. But it was by the Spirit of God. Are you there? Number two, evidence that you have met the Holy Spirit bountifully is that you are no longer subject to manipulation. Only people that are weak in the spirit can be manipulated. They do an enchantment over you and it begins to work. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a sign that you are still weak in the units of the spirit. There is only one that is given the license to manipulate you and he is called Holy Ghost. If other things can manipulate you, it means that your destiny is not guaranteed. You can be swayed off. You can be resisted. You can be stopped. The man that is deep in the Holy Spirit cannot be manipulated. No. No. Your end point is sure because there's only one driving force that is propelling your life in one direction. I was, I was telling my brother Gideon, he said, dear brother to me, I went for US visa interview. And when they checked us in, screened us, we went through the security post and came into the open floor. You know what? The tension, do you know what? You see, the tension that was in that room, there was no way you could deny that you were insulated from it. The tension, it is that day I believe that when your soul is active, it's actually transmitting frequencies. Yeah. Is that there? I believe it. When your soul is troubled. There, there was a household of tension that was... But you know what? Before we came into that tension, we had prayed in tongues. I had soared in the spirit. Even though I was high in spirit, 
I still felt the tension. But the tension, yeah, it was still there. It was still a reality that was there. But it was not influencing me. Now, you are not following. Now, the law of lift, is, it doesn't suspend the law of gravity. It's just superior to the law of gravity. So as the plane begins to take off, it is taking off because of the law of lift. And if the engine has the capacity to sustain that law, it would defy gravity as if gravity does not exist. So I came into the place and I could feel the tension. But you see, my spirit was anointed. I was operating on a law that was higher than the tension that was in the room. And uh, the tension increases when you see either the blue paper or the pink. Somebody's at the window saying, it, 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 I saw somebody, he <coughs> began to do like this. <laughs> the tension generated a dance without music. And guess what? After the dance, you left with a blue paper. You know, the way we know that you have been rejected, the U.S. people made it simple. After you finish your talk, you will see the, you, some will put their hand in their pocket and they'll be talking like this. And like the other person, he, his, his leg was going like this. Now, when you are done, we will know your fate by the color of paper that the person inside the cubicle gives you. If you see blue, what does blue mean? Deny. What of red? And um, what is why why pink? Why red? Okay, there are two. There are okay, based on the class. Okay. So in the room, while we were queuing up, one blue was going, another blue. The windows were like in Lagos, I think it's like 8 to 10. And blue was raining. Blue. <laughs> and the more blues break out, the more the tension in the room. <laughs> God used that one to teach me how Satan has swayed people out of their test. It was intense. It was intense. And so because we went with my small daughter, they said, no, no, no. Leave the line. Let's process your own so that you can go out. So I now stood close to the window. So I was able to hear the discussion this time. The, the man there said he, he wants to go to Disneyland. That was his. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. Because if you laugh under that tension, somebody might stab you. That I want to do. So, so that he, that he wants to visit Disneyland. So the guy in the cubicle now asked him, "Have you paid for hotel reservation?" This he said, "Yeah, he's paid." The guy now viewed it. He didn't know that they could see everything. The hotel he paid for, he only paid to stay there for three hours. <laughs> so they. From what I'm seeing here, you only book for three hours. I'm confused now. So the guy, that was when I did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As funny as this thing is, nobody laughed. <laughs> because of the tension. Jesus Christ. Nobody could have the grace to laugh. There was no grace. <laughs> so there were two windows there that I could access. The great one said, go to the window where this man was rejected, the man that was dancing. Go there. And in 10 minutes, they had given up. <laughs> you can decide not to be manipulated by going high in the Holy Ghost. I'm going to stop there.
There are seven. I'll give you two. Conviction is a sign. When you see everybody manipulated, but somebody is, is exempted, ah, another spirit is upon him. Are you following me? Number three, the man that has a relationship with the Holy Ghost can see possibility in the midst of stark impossibility. The economy that is at work within his heart is different from the economy that is at work from the standpoint of his senses. He can see beyond his senses. He can understand beyond his senses. He can even rejoice when the circumstances are not suggestive of rejoicing. You remember that Jesus at the tomb of Lazarus. Are you? No, not, was he at the tomb? No, not at the tomb. What the Bible says, and he rejoiced in the spirit. And he said, Father, thank you, because you have kept this thing from the wise, and you have re re revealed it to the simple. He rejoiced in the spirit. It means he had his own temperature and pressure inside that was different from what the environment was suggesting. When you see a man that can, that in the midst of trouble, he says, ah, we are close to breakthrough. And there's nothing like that so just it. He's receiving from another transmitter. Those are the kind of people that frustrate witches. Because the power that witches have can only stir up the environment. They cannot affect the condition of your heart inside. They frustrate witches. The witches are expecting that you should be depressed now. But you come with a laughter. You crack jokes. Because you are living off the atmosphere that is rooted in your spirit. That is a proof that you have met the Holy Ghost. So you don't operate by the temperature. You don't operate by the pressure of the circumstances. You operate by the pressure and the temperature of what is going on within you. And it's only the Holy Spirit that can furnish The temperature of faith in your heart is the only one that can impart you with faith. Are you there? Number what? Four. four. Number four, only men that know the Holy Spirit can see the future. Future. For the Bible says, that he will show you things to come. Nothing makes you more strategic in sales, in marketing, in purchases, in business, much more than knowing future trends. Nothing. We were praying one day and then the Holy Ghost now said, that bush there, that bush, go and buy land there. So I went into the bush. The only house that was there was the house of the landlord where I bought the lands from. So, and the lands, they were so cheap and then we even bargained because there was, it, it was a swampy area. We said, no, this is not land. This one is water. We are not, they don't sell water, it's land. Is land they sell. Hallelujah. So we bought those ones, expanses, so cheap. And we left the place. Then the landlord will call me from Lagos and say, Are you interested in my debt? I said, I'm not interested. If you are not interested, come and buy more land. More land. So I said, Okay, because we are trying to save you now. The, the idea now is not land we want to buy, it's to save your life that is going towards debt. The price, the price for salvation is different from the price of land. <laughs> that was how he bought it, all his land. Then they now made road. Then the place became four million. 
what was how much was it? One fifty. And even when it was four million, we were not selling. Because the place became strategic. Hallelujah. Because future trends, it can it can you don't need to go to Harvard. People that I, I know people, some people in Harvard that are poor. They, they went, they got certificate of of dexterity in business. But they are still struggling. What the Bible says it will show you things to come. It will show you things to come. Just one showing can end your poverty problem. Why not invest in the Holy Ghost? It will show you things to come. He will show you things to come. We build that place and put gate. And even the landlord now can't enter the gate. You have to stand outside and then wave like this. <laughs> he will show you things to come. I will stop there. I want you to study too. Study. Things to come. Things to come. That's how God encourages you when nothing is happening around you. He just shows you something that is to come. Then the rejoicing of what you have seen, you trivialize your current. You know it's a passage. Not a terminal. It will show you things. Things to come. Things to come. Things to come. We are going to pray. He wants to extend the frontiers of his kingdom. That's why he gave us the Holy Ghost. He wants to bring the reign of heaven upon the face of the earth. That's why he gave us the Holy Ghost. He wants to subdue the enemies of Christ in our generation and the witches that plundered the destinies of many in your family. That's why he gave us the Holy Ghost. He wants to strengthen us with might by his spirit in our inner man. That's why he gave us the Holy Ghost. Oh, he wants to make the weak strong, wants to make the poor rich. He wants to make the cursed blessed. That's why he gave the Holy Ghost. Hey. He wants to empower so that we can cause the armies of the aliens to turn backward. That's why he gave us the Holy Ghost. Sent down from heaven to establish the reign of heaven upon the face of the earth. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So the question is, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Is it true that it's the Holy Ghost you received? That you have, the giants around your life are not yet falling. There's no evidence that you have extra power beyond your, your, your mental strength and your biceps. Father, strengthen us. Take us beyond this docile level. Take us beyond this docile level. Take us into the heights of empowerment. Let the sons of Anak fall. Someone needs to cry desperately for himself. Cry desperately for his soul. Cry desperately for his life. Cry desperately for his life. Kidobokos Igobelahaya. Linko Preski, are you a victim of manipulation? Oh my, oh my. What you need is another measure of his spirit. Another measure of his spirit. Not everyone can be manipulated. The Holy Ghost! The Holy Ghost! Sheliko Presko Filandele Mantecuzi Abrahatala 
Mobreheske kombeheza iko bre Mahaiskopila asketo benda You can perform more than this You can become greater than this You can become stronger than this You can become more powerful than this More resourceful More dogged By the Holy Ghost Sent down from heaven Bosie Brekos keto bonde Naiko praskito balakandeli Jemonte siko pramena Soke en la haite Bunda askito broko tobe nakante Robinan sonde eske tamandoli Biga bakose katali mondeli Jemina iko praske tobe nakante la Mombre hez katubra halakadia Jaminan toske brisko fatabo Roba shike Mahais kompalane Isamina kubria tababun seke Yes we have stopped looking At the infirmities of our flesh Because the Holy Ghost has power To swallow up our infirmities The Bible says that it is the spirit It is the spirit That help it our infirmities for we know not what we shall pray as we ought but the spirit himself he maketh intercession for the saints in groanings that cannot be altered you can go beyond the weariness you can go beyond the insufficiency you can enter into might you can enter into capacity If you know the Holy Ghost, you cannot fail. No, you cannot fail. Men fail, but God cannot fail. For with men, these things might be impossible, but not with God. Kailabo siko panteki alabo. Rako santelia brahmandala. Iko presko volonde mise Asa kombra hika bababaila Ranto seka lando bokola Yema mama maya Rukas keto brindo kobriala babonsha niske Luke baba masuke laite Labros kote masiko bramanaita Kofoske de brenta mako de brosia Ila braske tobe na kade da danso preske de Para na suples Rahoske ta brinda babo kaduala Mendo lobo santo kisko brela mahase na ida Realo bobo ria kaske tobe na laida you can surmount that infirmity. You can surmount that weakness. You can fly with wings like the eagles. You can go beyond the manipulation. There is a place, there is a place in God where you will find rest. You can go beyond the confusion to the place where you can hear the still small voice with men these things might be impossible but not with God for with God all things are possible all things are possible yeah.
never experienced. The things that you are afraid of are actually afraid of you. There must be an evidence. Something must show that you have changed actually. And it's also the same with the Holy Ghost. Something must show that this you have received. If you are a Christian, having the Holy Ghost, you have an higher advantage than any other person. And that's the advantage of the Holy Ghost in which you have to pursue. See, it's not enough that you speak in tongues. That is not the end. It's not enough that you receive some these little things from you. That is not the end. There is a pursuit. There is a depth we are longing for. There's an advantage 
we must see in God. And that is what we are pressing for. So check out for yourself, for your life. Are you seeing the signs? Is your conviction strong? Are you receiving directions and visions? Any problems that face men? Just one vision, just one revelation. You know, I experienced it a lot. Sometimes I don't have an idea of how things will work. But God just open my understanding. Just like Jesus, He says, He opened their understanding. That means He has the right to leave it to not. He has the right to do something to their understanding. But Jesus opened their understanding. That's what we do. So it was open to So it's my call unto you that to take the advantage of the Holy Ghost inside of put him to action. Let him act sick for the evidences. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name.